Farewell. Then the Iron Horse, 10 Sterling Memorial, Tomatolo Boxer, with this the boat, Thomas Graham, and Lock and Jack, all with the Philly Group for the inside. All of Jack, Tomatolo, together with the Iron Horse, 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 Iron Day 25. Time for trouble. Six year old Chestnut Kelly by the Kentucky by English Channel. The star struck by the Great Cavalier. Jeff Hiles trains for Thorndale Stable LLC. Trophy presentation. Winning connections are Time for Trouble. Taking out the Iron Horse at Sterling Memorial. Seven Rainy and Chess. And <laughs> Not very nice. <laughs> but I do like playing in it. <laughs> um, no, he ran great. Um, a little further back than I wanted to be, but he's such a big, long, lanky horse. He didn't get around that turn real good the first turn. Got him in a great rhythm down the backside, picked up, finished it off. So you weren't worried? They went 47 in shape. Yeah, and, and, and he, he can go quick too. It's just the way the race, he didn't help me in the first turn. He got shuffled back a little further than I wanted, but I worked out in the end. Thank you. Were you concerned yeah, at all? Yeah, tell us about what James you're watching the race. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes, I was extremely concerned, especially 316th pole. We're still you know, behind a wall of horses and no place to go. And fortunately, he just swung him out. Just, you know, that's what I told James before this race. Said, you know this racetrack, I can't really tell you much. Just don't let him get away from you. And he can run all day, so get started early. You know, you don't worry about running out of horse. And you can see on the gallop back, he was still pulling on him and throwing his head. And he's just a distance horse. He's, our first part of the race really set up for us. The 47 half, they come back to us at the end. That's the fourth fourth force, you know. The longer, the better, the harder the race, the better for him, essentially. I think he's yeah. better on the dirt. Yeah. Uh, James didn't think he liked this surface as much. He's went over it twice. He went on the same surface, not the same track, but the same surface last year in the slop, the same race. I don't know, he's extremely versatile. He went on the slop, he's went on dirt fast, he's went on grass. I mean, they're, yeah. Very lucky to have him. Now, I know you had him out at Santa Anita for the marathon race. Jenny was telling me he got a little cut and he had to scratch or something. So after that, did you immediately start thinking this? Yeah. Because it was a superficial injury, but he had some inflammation in his back right leg, and it was just enough just to where we weren't going to take any chances, no matter if we're shipping out to California or Hong Kong or wherever. Yeah. So we immediately regrouped and knew we could get this over with quickly. And this is our next option. Personal three peak for you winning this race because you won with Bruce Steele. You, know. uh, you know, it's to go into a claiming crown race, these races are so difficult to win. You've got to have the right horse, right place, right track. You know, you look at the PPs on these horses, they, some of them win 13, 15, 19, 20 races. I mean, you can find horses like that that do that. I mean, it's extremely difficult to beat them. And to win it three years in a row, I never thought I would. Claiming crown is. It's something for the, the, you know, some of these horses you're going to see have fallen down. They've paid a half million dollars for us, yearlings and stuff like that. But you're not going to see, you know, your your big time maker. I mean, him and you got Safi Joseph and those guys who have who deal with Asmussen and claims claiming horses as well. But it's not like your stake horses. It's, it's your guys who can spend eight thousand dollars on a horse and have the opportunity to do something like this. Yeah, they're they're all good horses. They're just good at their level. Exactly. Your horse, he hasn't run a claiming race in yeah. years, right? Well, since you, know, you yeah. claimed him. No, he hasn't. Um, we've been real fortunate with him. We're real lucky. We won a 13-way shake to get him in the yeah. first place. So, good luck. He's been a blessing to my barn, I can tell you that. Well, the, you know, this is why we do what we do. Uh, 316th pole, we thought we didn't have a shot. And the emotions that you experience at last 316th of the race <laughs> is exactly why, you know, we are, we are in this. The, the thrill, the ag, you know, whether you're gonna win, whether you're not gonna win, the adrenaline that kicks in, the emotion, it's just, it's, you, you can't buy it. Uh, what were you thinking at the wire? Thank God. <laughs> <laughs>